you today. In the last 24 hours, Honington in Suffolk has seen over two inches of rain, 60 millimetres, more than the monthly average. Very wet indeed. And those showers, as you can see on the Southern Britain radar, are now gathering some quite nasty storm cells around. So there is a severe weather warning out. Torrential downpours for Southern England and East Anglia edging their way north with some dangerous driving conditions. Visibilities severely reduced with the spray. Already some thunderstorms through from London out towards East Anglia at the moment and also we have some rain further north as well. In fact that's been affecting northern England for much of the morning and it's not set to move either. A lot of fog over the Pennines and the Peak Districts to contend with as well. But further north across Cumbria it's drier and it's brighter and indeed on the satellite picture there are some breaks in the cloud in western parts of Scotland. And it's Northern Ireland and Scotland where we'll see the best of today's drier and slightly brighter weather. But a lot of cloud around and feeling cool under that cloud band. And further south, well, the stormy, unsettled weather continues as those showers become more widespread. But between the showers, there will be a little bit of brightness, so it'll feel sticky at 22. Somewhat cooler, though, in the north with a breeze coming in from the north or the northeast. Quite a brisk breeze today as well. And that breeze will bring some drier weather through northern England eventually tonight and perhaps north Wales. But further south through this evening and tonight, those heavy showers or thunderstorms will continue to rattle away. So it'll be a mild night here once again, whereas further north, it'll drop back to five or seven. And then indeed that cooler air will come further southwards tomorrow. Now the reason for that is because we've got high pressure in the north and that'll eventually push those weather systems out of the way of southeast England through tomorrow. As this weather system comes in through Wednesday, that might spoil viewing for eclipse goers, but um, it's a little, still a little uncertain at the moment. But tomorrow morning, dawning with a lot of showers and heavy showers in the south and east, eventually those will clear away, but a lot of cool and cloudy weather following behind and then for the eclipse the chance of perhaps even a few showers into the west